All right, I got an idea for a riff, a challenge. I'm gonna see if you can keep up with me on something really simple. I'm gonna do a little bit of a kink song called You Really Got Me. I'm gonna show you the root notes like this. That's like a G-A-A-G-A, -A -A -A, three, five, five, three, five. We're going to do a bunch of that, and then we're going to go up two frets higher to A, B, B, A, B, like this. Then we go one string over to 5, 7, like this. Then you hit a 5. That's a D, and start over. Now, grab your guitar because I want you to play along with me on this. Uh, let's pick a tempo, something like, oh, let's do like 120. All right, play, um, I'm going to turn that up. All right, play along. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Now go up here. Switch. Now hit the D. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, maybe that was too simple. So let's turn them into power chords like this. So we're gonna use the same root note and add what we call a fifth interval. So it's like those two notes, a three and a five, a G and a D. So it's G5 to an A5 to a G5. And we'll use that shape through the whole deal. Then switch strings. So you, the challenge is to keep that shape pretty stiff in your fretting hand and uh, keep your timing together. No dead notes, no falling apart, no falling on your face. <laughs> you know, stuff I always do. Just keep it consistent and uh, no gaps, no dead notes, nothing. Just play it good with perfect timing. I'm gonna run through the thing. I want you to play along with me using the metronome, 120 beats a minute. I'm gonna start with the uh, intro and then we'll go into the verse. One, two, ready, go. <laughs> the D, one, two, three, four, and we repeat. I'll come up here. <laughs> 
I went like <laughs> Hendrix chord and Stinger. All right, that's just basic power chord stuff. Um, you should be able to do that and stay with me. And you know, if your hand gets really tired or you kind of get exhausted or fall apart, well, it's okay. Just relax, start building up some endurance, you know, if you're able, that would be cool. If that's killing your arm, try some other stuff, but it's, I think, if you're not injured, you should be able to make it through that. I love those chords. Try not to have a lot of delay on your amp, keep it kind of dry. I've got some reverb, I'll take it off. Dry is kind of cool on that. Yeah, get rid of the echo and stuff so it's not a big sloppy mess. Uh, you can try some clean or fuzz. I got double fuzz now. One fuzz. Or clean. That's fun. Something to think about, you know, if you want to keep your timings number one. That's where most people kind of fall apart. So it's just an exercise to get your timing together. If you need a PDF for that, I do have it written out. Should be pretty exactly what uh, what I just played. All right, this is Brooke. Hey, if you could uh, subscribe to my channel, that would rock. So the thumbs up makes me happy. I love to hear, I love to read your comments and see what you're thinking. And sometimes there's really good ideas that I can jump on. Or any feedback, if there's something you don't like, let me know. I appreciate that. I learn from your comments. So uh, I've got my lesson with Eddie Angel coming up. So I got a, uh, I might try to do a songwriting uh, activity with Eddie. We'll see if he. I think he's totally into making new music, so if I can figure out a way to uh, do some tracking with him remotely, that will be really cool. Yeah, I think I'll, I'm will i going to try to get him on the next Surf Zombies album. Alright, I'll see you soon. Thank you.